Hi guys, thanks for joining my channel. Before we get started, I just want to put a quick disclaimer out there that this video is not sponsored. All the products in this video I purchased with my own money. Everything in this video is solely my opinion and based on my own experiences with these products. So I do encourage you to check with your doctor before use of any of these products just to be on the safe side. Everything that works for me may not work for you. So I just want to put that disclaimer out there before we get started. All right, guys, let's get started with this video. Puzzle! All right, guys, so let's get started with the video. Welcome back to my channel. It's just Janine. Thank you so much for coming back and watching another one of my videos. So in today's video, I will be sharing with you a product from Dr. Till's product line of Epsom salts. So in case you don't know what Epsom salt is, Epsom salt is a magnesium sulfate that is uh, used for uh, joint pain and relaxing muscles and, and healing muscle pains and joint pains, things like that just to soothe out, you know, aches and pains that your body may have, whether it be your legs, your feet, your whole body, what have you. So it's just a really nice soothing uh, salt uh, that pulls that pulls that pain in, in, uh, out of your muscles and, and out of your joints. The first time I ever heard of Epsom salt was when I was young. And my granddaddy has passed away, but my granddad used to, um, pops as we call them, uh, would always have Epsom salt on hand. He would have Epsom salt on dick. The slightest little pain, the slightest little whatever, my granddaddy would have that Epsom salt. He would just call his wife, Cora, what is that Epsom salt? So she would come with that, that Epsom salt and put it in a tub for him. So that's the first time I have been introduced to Epsom salt is my granddad. Uh, he lived for Epsom salt. <laughs> so I just remember him always hollering for it. I, I've never used this stuff before. I've just heard people talk about it for years. I never used it. Um, I just didn't like, I guess, salt in the water. Just something about that. I, I just didn't think of something I would ever use. Until I got older, and this was maybe... I don't know, maybe a year ago that I actually started to use it. Um, not the actual salt itself in the bag like you would normally see, but my mom, she started, she's started. she been using it for a while because she suffers with uh, joint pains and just pains in her body and aches and stuff because she does have a sciatica or sciatica and sciatica nerve damage or whatever, but she, she's always in a lot of pain. And I know she uses the Epsom salt to pull that pain from her uh, body, from her muscles and, and joints and things like that. So she says it's very helpful for her. This stuff is absolutely amazing. As far back as I can remember, when I was a kid, I used to suffer with muscle spasms all the time. Um, I think it even goes back to when I was a baby before I could even talk. And I would just crawl all the time. And this is what I remember my mom telling me, I would crawl all the time. And until I was able to talk, I was able to verbalize that my leg, my legs, my legs hurt. I would always have issues with muscle pains in both of my legs, especially running a lot. Any type of exercise, any type of running would trigger the pains in my legs. And every night or every every other night, my mom would always have to rub liniment on my legs or some type of rubbing whatever, Bengay or Icy Hot, whatever, uh, on my legs every night or every, every other night that I experienced that. So it took years for me to grow out of that. The doctor said I would grow out of it, but it, it was years before I actually grew out of it. Every blue moon, I may have it, but it's it's been years since I've actually had to deal uh, a lot with that pain. But that lasted for the bulk of my, my childhood. So they have different varieties, but I want to tell you a little secret. In case you don't know what Epsom salt is, like I said, it's a magnesium sulfate. But there's a little story behind Epsom salt that I did not know until I actually went to the website. So I'm going to tell you what it says on the website. So it says, here's the story of Epsom salt. It says, the name Epsom salt came from the town Epsom, England. Uh, where in, in 1618, a farmer's cows refused to drink the local water because of its bitter taste. 
Besides the taste, the farmer also noticed that after applying the water to scratches and rashes, they heal quickly. The taste of the water and the healing powers proved to be the result of its natural magnesium sulfate content. Word spread and over the course of time, magnesium sulfate has proven to play an important role in soothing muscle aches and pains, exfoliating dead skin, relieving sore feet, and improving sleep and reducing stress. The first one, now this is one of my favorite, 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 favorites. I love this scent. This is such a relaxing scent. And this is what the bottle looks like. And you've probably seen this. But this one is the Relax and Relief with Eucalyptus and Spearmint. So this is the one I get. This stuff smells amazing. Mm. It's like, oh, just to smell it just relaxes, relaxes your senses. And it's just like, it's, it's a, it has a calming effect. So I usually um, use this at night before I go to bed so I can have a, a much restful sleep because I don't really sleep as well as I should. I don't get enough sleep. I find myself very restless. So I'll soak in the tub with the eucalyptus and the spearmint. And the sense, oh, oh, the the smell of it, just to ah, just soak in the tub. It's like you do not want to get out of the tub for anything. It's, you just want to sit there and just take it all in, and just your whole body relaxes, your senses are calm, your mind is calm, and all you smell, the whole bathroom is just lit up, and eucalyptus and spearmint, and it's it's. It is, y'all, it is the most relaxing scent. Like, I can't even, I, I can't even really put into words how relaxing this is. You just got to try it for yourself. Just pick up a bottle. It's like $4.99, five bucks. And this is a 34 ounce, 34 ounce, and it's five dollars. It just makes your, your skin feel really, really good. Very smooth, very soft, and very nourished. So... This, this is the best stuff ever. And tonight, they got a new one in. Actually, they had two new ones in, but I didn't get the other one. The other one had the pink Himalayan sea salt in it, but I didn't get that one. So since I'm on this whole avocado fix <laughs> from my hair, you know, so they've got a new one, which is the, this is the Super Ultra Moisturizer Avocado Oil. So this one has avocado in it. So this one is softening for the skin, moisturizing, you know, for the skin, things like that. Um, hydrating, long-lasting bubbles. That's the one thing I can say about this product. The bubbles in the tub, they last a very long time. Now this, let me see. I didn't really get a good smell of it in the store, so. You can... I can't really describe the smell on this one. It it doesn't smell like avocado, but it does have like a slight sweet smell to it. It has a slight sweetness. It's almost like a peach in a way. If you just want the bathroom to smell like it, just to walk in in the morning and you want a quick wake me up, <laughs> that eucalyptus experiment will definitely do just that. Now, if you go to Dr. Teal's website, it will show you a listing of all of the other products that they have in their whole line of Epsom salt. So I'll just tell you just some of them because I don't, I don't have everything in the whole line. So I'll just tell you just some of the things, uh, just how they've got it broken down. So you've got the, the Epsom salt in the bag. Um, they have it in a three pound bag and they have it in a six pound bag if you just want the salt and just shake it in the water. So they do have it in the actual bags. They also have a pre and post workout. So if you are the type of person that exercises a lot, which I don't like I should, but if you are you know, very athletic and you exercise a lot and you you know working out a lot and things like that, they do have one that is for pre and post workout, uh, which is the pure Epsom salt soaking solution for um, overworked muscles to comfort and relieve overwork muscles, um, allowing for optimum performance. So they do have one for those that work out a lot. Now these are some of the other foaming bath ones they have. Now outside of the ones I showed you, they also have one for detoxifying and energizing the body. They have one that is a chamomile, which is for comfort and calming. Uh, they have it in lavender, which is one I did have. I must have used it all up, but they do have it in lav lavender. 
And they also have it in to soften and to nourish. I have one to soften and to nourish your, your skin. They also have it in a body wash. So if you just wanna you know, do the body wash instead of the uh, foaming bath, you can do the body wash and they have it in the same um, scents. They do have it in other fragrances outside of the lavender, eucalyptus, the spearmint, chamomile. They also have it in ginger and clay was the other one I was trying to think of. I couldn't think of it, but ginger and clay is the other fragrance that you can get with these products. They have it in a body lotion, same fragrances. Uh, the body lotion, also shea butter, vitamin E for dry to hydrate dry skin and uh, promote smoothness of the skin. And they have it in bath and body oils, which is also nourishing to the skin. They have a foot soap one, which is basically the, the one in the bag for tired feet. And they also have a foot cream as well, which uh, that's to moisturize and to soften, soften. So those are just some of the other products they have in their line for Dr. Till's Epsom salt products. So I um, definitely encourage you to check it out. Never hurts to check it out. I can't say any more about Dr. Teal. Dr. Teal, that, that, that's just some amazing stuff to me. So I, don't, I know I'm rambling and I'm rambling, I'm rambling. I'm going to wrap this up. But I just wanted to share with y'all my favorite nighttime bath soaking stuff or, you know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but I just want to share that with you. That's one of my favorite products of all time uh, when it comes to, you know, pampering myself and giving myself my own little spa treatment or whatever uh, and that's what it smells like i mean like the bathroom smells like a like a spa but it's it's really it's really great so if you like this video please give a thumbs up please comment and don't forget to click that subscribe button for me it's just janine and i will see you guys on the next video and speaking of the next video in the next video i will be attempting to do a successful wash and go which is tragic every time I try one. Every time I try to do a, a wash and go, it ends up being a tutorial. So this time I'm going to attempt to do a successful wash and go with a new product that I have coming. It should be here Thursday. So that's the only reason why I did not do my hair, wash my hair on Sunday like I normally do is because I'm waiting on this product. So I didn't want to go through the process of the whole wash routine and then have to turn around and do and wash again. So just stay tuned for that video. I might have another one coming in between that time if, if I don't get that video up next there may be another video in between after this one so just stay tuned so thank you guys so much for sticking with me and watching this video and just listening to my thoughts and opinions about this product that I really really love so again I hope you guys give it a try tell me how you like it so until then I will see y'all see you guys on the next video it's just Janine bye